and we've had some families that have, you know, made a connection with Gateway through our our connection and they've been to Gateway whether they've performed mm -hmm. for people during dinner or they've gone down as part of a mitzvah project for their bar and bat mitzvah. Word is out there and um, you know when we do our monthly bulletin articles that reach the whole congregation there's usually some kind of mention of Gateway in them and it, it's starting to become really synonymous with what we do. When B'nai Amuna had the pleasure of coming uh, two weeks ago to Gateway, we had a lot of fun. And the problem came when it was time for us to go. And, you know, they wanted to get on the bus with us and look on their faces. It broke my heart. It really did. Um, every kid deserves time to be goofy and silly and laugh and, um, and play with their friends. And it's a shame when homelessness takes away uh, the short time they have just to kids like coming up to you and showing that they made you a bracelet mm -hmm. like just for you and that's just an awesome feeling that they just like wanted to be with you and wanted to have a friend yeah. and that was awesome. Obviously I bring like the necessities, food and clothes and like shoes would be the main thing because running around barefoot is never a great thing to do. Mm -hmm. Things that are like important to me to keep me like sane would be like I like listening to music when things are not so great. So that that'll help calm me down a lot. And I'd also bring a basketball because I know a lot of the kids there you know enjoy like, going outside and getting some energy out. I know I'd be just like that. There's the Jewish approach where I've grown up knowing that um, I it's my mission uh, to help make the world a better place, uh, in the vision of Tikkun Olam, and I know that by helping to improve the lives of individuals and seeing it as an individual that you're helping, um, that I can help make that person have a better day. And I really feel like when we were at Gateway 180, we helped those kids have a much better day, and that's the kind of change that I know as a Jew I hope to make um, in the world through service. You know, since we couldn't directly bring you green space when you we were coming, we decided to do a mural that would kind of reference that and make a special space that was set apart from the buildings and the cities that would remind people. Um, just kind of a place to, you know, reflect kind of more of um, an escape from the everyday reality of living, you know, in a hard city. Um, and we wanted to also incorporate the children and really let everyone have a hand in there and do it in a way that they could really feel like they made an imprint um, without kind of putting too much weight on them, having it be kind of a fun way to make a mark. And so I think it's really good for them to know that uh, most people are just like them. I mean, a little bit different, but not too different. We're all human, you know? So coming in, I wasn't sure if some of the kids would be um, scared or sheltered to play with us, kind of leaning back, nervous of what we would be like. Um, um, well, you know, I didn't really know what the attitude was going to be. I didn't know how the kids were going to feel about being in there, or how what the attitude the parents had. But when I got there, they're all very. It was so positive. I thought that was a big thing that I noticed. And the kids were all having a great time, especially with us. And, they really seemed in a happy mood and focusing away from the fact that they did not have a home with them. It was really great to see kind of going towards how it affected my campers. Um, so it actually occurred that it was the last day of our first session was when we came to Gateway 180. Now a lot of my kids were been leaving uh, after the first session. And one of the girls, when we were right by the, uh, the mural that we helped make, and she said to me, I'm so happy that we came here instead of coming home one day. This is so much more meaningful than being at the pool and doing other stuff. They, they were happy to have been there and they, they were, enjoyed it more than having a day of, I guess you could say, normal fun around the camp. They preferred to be at Gable 180 for their last day. And for them especially, it was more meaningful because it was their last day coming through this camp because it ends in sixth grade and they're going into sixth grade. So it was their last experience and their last memory really from their entire camp experience where they were 
preschoolers all the way up to going into middle school. That was great.